friends. Welcome to Science with Miss Ahia. This month's theme is transportation. And transportation means how we get from one place to another. For today's science activity, we're going to be exploring ramps. Ramps are a simple machine or an inclined plane. Today, we're gonna to see how friction affects the speeds of different cars. Are you ready to explore ramps with Miss Ikea? All right, friends, let's get ready. Okay, friends, this is how Miss Ikea used blocks to make a ramp. I used one square shaped block and one long rectangle shaped block. And I placed the rectangle shaped block on top of the square shaped block at an angle. This is called a ramp. This is a simple machine or an inclined plane. First, we're going to see how fast the car goes when I put one square block on the ramp. First, we're going to test the ramp with one square block. Let's see how fast the car goes. All right. That is how fast the car went. Now, we're going to add two square blocks. When we add two square blocks, notice that the angle of the ramp is now higher. Do you think it's going to go faster or slower this time? Let's see which answer is correct. Guys, did you see how fast that car went when it had two blocks? Let's see that one more time. Whoa! Now, Ms. Ikea is going to add three square blocks to our ramp. Ooh. Make sure it's steady. Ooh. I'm gonna hold it this time, friends, because it's not as steady as before. But notice that the angle of the ramp is even higher. The last time we added two blocks, the car went super fast. Let's see if the angle of the ramp being higher affects the speed or how fast the car goes this time. Whoa! Okay friends, now we're going to see how friction affects the speed of the cars as well. Ms. Ikea has this very special ramp that we use in a classroom. It has these special plates that we can place on the ramp to change the surface. If you look at these two plates, they have different bumps and grooves. This will affect how fast the car will go. I'm gonna place it right here. Well, actually first I'm going to do it without the plate so you can see how the cars move without the special plates that cause friction. So I have two cars. I'm gonna let them go. Ready, set, go! All right, this time the cars went at the same speed. Now Ms. Ikea is gonna go and grab these two cars. And now we're going to add the plates. The plates are gonna cause friction. We're going to see if that's going to affect how fast the car go or its speed. So one has zigzag lines and the other one has wavy lines. The zigzag line is the blue plate. The wavy lines are on the green plate. Now let's see, friends. Ready, set, go. Oh my, look what happened this time. We're gonna try it one more time. A good scientist always experiments more than once. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh wow, friends, this time, the cars did not go as fast down the ramps. The speed was affected as well too. This time, instead of going all the way to the end of the block, the car stopped right here. You can replicate this experiment at home by putting different types of materials on top of your ramp. These materials may cause friction, will affect, that will affect the speed and distance of each car moving. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me for today's science activity. I hope you had fun exploring ramps and seeing how friction and angles can change the speed of how cars move. 
Don't forget to try exploring ramps in your home as well. Try using different materials to change the friction and change the angle of the ramp as well to see how fast your car can move. Thank you again for joining me and don't forget to log on in the afternoon and watch all of our videos. Take care and have an amazing week, guys. Bye.